Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a belated FOTN review. I didn't really have the time to do this yesterday, but yeah, we do have a Friday night to talk about uh, this weekend. We didn't have one last weekend, which is good for me. It saves me a week of work. Work. <laughs> and uh, this one took place at the Melbourne, at the Marvel Stadium, sorry, in Melbourne, Australia. And it was a fight on the uh, undercard, on the prelim, main prelim card, between two I haven't really heard of, Brad Riddell and Jamie Malarkey. Jamie has like, fought for the UFC before. This is Brad's UFC debut, though. And Brad won by unanimous decision. And, uh... To be honest, you know, what did I think of the fight? That's obviously why we're here, because everyone wants to hear my opinion, because it's so valid and important. I thought this was really enjoyable. Um, like... Brad did, like, pull away with it, you know, as much as I expected him to. Um, judging by, you know, the result, obviously, because he won. Um, but it wasn't exactly easy, because, like, Riddell might be the physically, like, larger man, but I think I think Jamie is slightly taller. Uh, but yeah, like, throughout round one, in fact, throughout most of the fight, the crowd, need I remind you, the crowd in Australia was surprisingly quiet. Then again, by this point, this was the first fight that did go the distance, because of three fights before, this all had a finish of some sort. So, I think that might be part of the reason why the crowd was so quiet. Um, but yeah. So, um, it starts off like, you know, both men uh, do meet in the middle, and they both have, like, a, a pretty good, like, role. For the most part, it is Brad Riddell pressing forward on Malarkey, and this, you know, Brad, Brad didn't just press forward on Malarkey, he did actually, like, land some good strikes. Uh, Malarkey did have some good counter combos, and, uh, Malarkey did get some, uh, takedowns in round one as well. Um, it was mostly Brad's round, though. Um, round one definitely goes more to Brad, I think. Like, he landed big shots, he landed a beautiful left hook, at, like, late into the round. Which I think was one of the ones that sealed the deal for him. Jamie did get a good takedown, but I don't think it was enough to win in the round. Round two was when things started to mix up. A little bit more. Brad Riddell was going for his game plan again, but Jamie was definitely starting to let more takedowns. And in round one, um, forgive me because I just remember this, I think Jamie, uh, during exchange, Jamie did actually cut open Brad Riddell with the left hook right past the left eyelid-ish, so he did cut him open. But, you know, even though that did happen, Brad definitely won round one. In round two, Jamie starts to stand his ground a little bit more. He's, uh, you know, he's landing, like, some more big shots. Brad does still pull away with the bigger hits. But he lands, uh, you know, uh, Jamie lands a couple more big shots, excuse me, and he actually gets a good couple more takedowns. And there's a good moment in, I forget if it's round two or three, uh, two or three, sorry, not three, two or three, where he does try and go for a rear naked choke, but he's a bit high on the back. So he tries to learn himself, and Brad, like, manages to sort of, sort of get out of it, but Jamie gets back on top again. Really good ground work in round two, actually, you know, I have to admit that. There's some good clinch work, too, like, the clinch work throughout the range was pretty good. But it was mostly the stand-up and groundwork, which are the sort of the main stories of this fight. And uh, in round, in round two, Jamie did start slowly to pull away with it, but I would argue that this was the closest round of the three. But um, it was definitely still sort of Brad's round. Round three, though, was when a lot of it started to change. Like, you know, Jamie started gaining ground in round two. He definitely, like, started gaining a bit more in round three. He landed a couple more takedowns. He started, like, standing more and striking with Brad Riddell. And there was more groundwork, and especially towards the end of the fight. And uh, Jamie was going for like a couple more submission attempts. Didn't really manage to fully lock anything in, but there was a really close moment where I think Brad actually had Malarkey's back in round three, and then Malarkey managed to turn around and get ground on him. And, you know, I think when it hit the three minute mark in round three, um, they both started landing great combos. Red Riddell started to do some damage to Malarkey's face. I think he cut him open. And he almost burst open um, the left ear of Malarkey, the left cauliflower ear. It did start to look nasty. <laughs> so, oh man. I feel sorry for fighters, like professional fighters who actually work hard enough to get cauliflower ears, because when they explode, like, your hearing's basically fucked. <laughs> it really is. But yeah, this was, uh, you know, and obviously Brad was on to pull through, and it was a great fight between the two. Like, Brad did get some knockdown. I think he got a knockdown on Jamie, at least, but Jamie. Like, he did as much work as Brad did, maybe a little bit less, but he tanked pretty much everything that Brad had to throw at him. And it was just a really great fight between two, you know, two fighters I wasn't as familiar with beforehand. And I really enjoyed this. It was a pleasant surprise. I definitely think this could also be in the top ten of the year. I think the only thing that might slightly distract it is the Australian crowd, who... 
didn't really have a lot to say um, until the ends of the rounds, until that moment in round three, where they started to brawl a bit more. But I actually thought the fight was a lot better than that, and to be honest, it didn't really detract a lot for me. I'm just a little bit deflated by the Australian crowd, because they're usually a lot more excited and upbeat, you know? But um, not really a lot I can do about that. I really like this fight. It's probably going to be at some point. Um, it's going to be... It's going to be at some point on my top 10 list this year. And that's if I'm doing one. I still think I might. But yeah, it was it was good. Brad Riddell, welcome to the UFC with a big win. Jamie Malarkey, even though he lost, he didn't really lose too badly. Uh, despite what the scorecards might say, it, it's a lot closer than the scorecards might have suggested. But yeah, all in all, super enjoyable. Really like this fight. Um, yeah, top-notch stuff. It was hard-hitting. It was um, surprisingly brutal. And the cauliflower a bit was a bit unsettling. But that's what we have to deal with. And that's going to pretty much do it for the review. I will, I'm will. i most likely going to see you again tonight for an, uh, for a PVW stream. <sighs> Man, two more, well, one more pay-per-view and then defy the gods. Started from the bottom, now we're still at the bottom-ish. <laughs> I'll see you all uh, probably for that and for uh, maybe something else this week. Maybe. Who's to say? I'll see you all tonight and then maybe some point this weekend. I don't know what's going to happen. As always, thank you for watching. You're awesome. Bye-bye.